For some businesses, these changes are signs of hope, but also a little bit stressful. News Center Maine's Chloe Tebow is live in Brunswick this morning to talk about how the mother-daughter team at an iconic local diner has been preparing for these changes. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Tori. Good morning. Yeah, I first met Jane Davis and Cassidy King about a year ago, and at that point, they weren't sure whether the decades-old Brunswick Diner would make it through the pandemic. The diner was open last summer, but closed for a few months during the winter. And in that time, these women came up with new solutions to prioritize health and safety. They say they recognize change is hard for everyone, but when it comes to keeping their business alive, they say it's worth it. Um, good luck, Jane. May the year be better than ever. For Brunswick diner owner Jane Davis, it's words of support like these that have made the last year bearable. Twelve months ago, it wasn't clear whether the staple would be able to survive a global pandemic. I mean, last year I was falling apart thinking that I, my life's work had just gone down the drains due to a virus. It's why she and her daughter Cassidy King took time this winter when the diner had to close to come up with new solutions to address some challenges. Because we're so small inside, we found we were bottlenecking at the register and there were just too many people too close. Now the diner has a service window outside where guests can order and pay for their food before sitting down, designed to eliminate some contact. Wait staff will still bring food to tables on the extended patio space outside or inside where tables are now separated by plexiglass. Our situation is just we care that whoever is exposed to us is we've taken all the precautions we can. Even though change is hard, they say they think these updates will be worth it. I'm hoping the new changes are going to really keep us around for another 20, 40, 50 years. I guess we're just excited. I, I hope we're able to stay busy through this summer and I hope this winter we're in a position where we're comfortable enough again to to be open. One step closer every day to feeling at ease again. It's a nice feeling to see that that might be close because this was not the feeling that we had a year ago. I think this will pass and it'll be something we look at in a history book hopefully soon. Now, Jane and Cassidy say right now they are asking guests to continue to wear their masks inside when they're not seated at a table. They say they're doing so since the building is small and plan to until all of their staff members have been able to get vaccinated. Live in Brunswick this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine. Tori, back to you.